What's going on you guys? My name is Morgan and this is Iris and welcome back to another video. So I don't like making videos like this, but I feel like I need to talk about it because it is so important to talk about. You know, I don't like to talk about this kind of stuff, but I feel like I have to because it has affected my family and it needs to be talked about. So for a while, there's been this unknown respiratory virus going around for dogs. So I believe the symptoms were like, uh, you know, some of the symptoms were coughing, sneezing, lethargy, like nasal discharge, um, it had like a lot of symptoms in it and there have been a lot of information there well, there has been a lot of information about other dogs getting it and just the recovery and the treatment and the symptoms but it's still an unknown virus so about two weeks ago iris got incredibly sick and if you've seen my shorts you'll know that iris has got ha had gotten incredibly sick to the point that we thought she was going to die she was acting weird a night and i wouldn't put her in her kennel because she was up and down all night, and I just put her in her kennel. The next morning, I went to feed the puppies, and she's there all shaking in horrible shape. So I'm like, okay, well, she needs to go to the vet. So I end up taking her to the vet, and the vet tells me it's a 50-50 chance of her living. They don't know what it is, but there's a 50-50 chance of her surviving and getting through this uh, treatment, or surviving and getting through this, whatever this is. They don't know what it is. They can't give me any answers. They did a fecal on her. Her fecal was clean. They did a parvo test on her. Her parvo was clean. She didn't have parvo. You know, she was 100% healthy. And they said, okay, well, we don't really know what it is. We have no idea what it is. So, okay, they sent me home with antibiotics. They gave her some fluids in her back, or like her muscle. Um, I have her on Pedialyte every hour. Um, she's not eating. They give me stuff for her diarrhea because she's like shooting diarrhea. It is absolutely horrible. And it is just pure water. There's no blood in it. And so we're like, okay, so I keep her on Pedialyte. I'm taking care of her. She's doing better, but we're kind of struggling a little bit because we don't really understand what is going on. But she, she recovers. She's fine. Um, the bully puppies had had diarrhea and vomiting before this, and they recovered in a few days. They were fine. I got them from family to re home, and nobody told me that they were vomiting and had diarrhea. But it makes sense now. A, a lot of it makes sense. And, but I didn't think to quarantine them. And by the time I got them in my house, um, they showed no symptoms until that night. And it was already too late by then. So, okay. They're, they're healthy. They're fine. So, uh, then I start rehoming them once they're fine and we have no problems. And nobody else's dog come up sick. Everybody's fine. Well, our neighbors, who had one of our puppies from our life litter, um, Rosemary's life litter. His name is Boomer. And he got sick. He got sick with the same thing Iris had. So the bully puppies had developed it, but it was nowhere near what Iris's was. So I don't know if there was a correlation with it. Okay. So, um, Boomer gets sick. So he gets really, really sick. He has the same symptoms, the diarrhea, the poop, the lethargy. But he is, he has worse symptoms than she does. So I get told this. They're, they're alone all day. They're in a kennel all day while everybody's working at the school. So it's about five o'clock and they come knock on my door and something's wrong with Boomer. He won't get up, he won't move. So at this point, he is so beyond dehydrated that it is absolutely insane. And um, so, and they can't take him to the vet. So I start giving him Pedialyte and I start giving him fluids and I give him the antibiotics that Iris had because I'm beginning to think it's the same exact thing that Iris had because he is really, really sick. And he's been 100% healthy. This dog was born in April of last year, April 23. So he is very healthy. And his brother is living with him too. It was Boomer and Spirit. And Spirit is perfectly fine like they were. Everybody was perfectly fine aside from Iris. And everybody was perfectly fine aside from Boomer. So everything is fine, right? So everybody's fine aside from Iris and Boomer. So I'm taking care of Boomer. I give him a heating pad because his, heat, his temperature is really, really low. It is, uh, it was like the thermometer wouldn't even read it. So I'm, I believe it was below 96. So I take it, I give him a heating pad, and then I come back and take it again. His body heat is up to 98, which is a little bit better. Um, when mamas have puppies, their body heat is at 98. So it was not great. His body temperature for dogs is usually 100 to 101, okay? So he has this heating pad, and they're taking care of him. Fluids every hour, bone broth, baby food, because baby food has the sustenance and clear up the diarrhea. So... They give him this, and between 2 and 3 a.m., he passes away. 
Um, I couldn't bring them into my house because I had the bully puppies. I have Rosemary and Hershey who are pregnant. I have Iris who just got over this. I have Artemis who is still a baby and clearly infects dogs who are vaccinated. So what about my other dogs? What about like Chica, Ruby, Athena, Cookies, Cream, Chubby, Fuzzy, um, Mia, um, Aries, Zero, everybody. What about everybody? So I'm like, okay, I can't bring them into my house because what happens if something happens? You're fine, Ruby. So is it contagious? Well, um, I don't know because nobody can give me an answer. But I'm, but everybody I've talked to has assumed it's the respiratory virus. Many dogs have passed away. Boomer ended up dehydrated, passing away. He was in really, really horrible, horrible shape. And there was nothing we could do at the time. So he ended up, ended up passing away between 2 and 3 a.m. So... And I talked to the vet about everything, and a different vet, because our vet didn't know what the heck was going on. And I, I guess a lot of vets, some vets don't actually know what's going on about this unknown illness or something. I don't know. So our vet didn't know what it was. They didn't know what was going on, and there was nothing that they could do. And they said that it seemed like he had the same thing that Iris has or had. So we're like, okay, so what the heck is actually going on? That's a good question. So I was on TikTok last night, and this dog came up with the unknown respiratory virus. He ended up passing away. He was a Belgian Malinois named Helios. So he ended up passing away from this unknown respiratory virus. And nobody really knows all this testing. It's like, it doesn't always tell you what it is. This testing doesn't always work or it doesn't, tell, it doesn't give enough information about this. The testing is, I think they pay $500 for it, I think, or just for the testing and it takes forever for it to come back. But it's like, what? is this how do we combat this everybody says it's like kennel cough i believe or and which is the board of telling shot well i mean it makes no sense it has the symptoms of board of tele, but everybody everybody's dogs are passing from this and it is nothing like kennel cough it is worse than kennel cough um i've seen dogs with kennel cough i don't board my dogs i have never had a dog with kennel cough um we don't go around strange dogs very often uh, my neighbor's dogs are the only dogs we really go around. We don't go to the dog park around any dogs. We usually go when nobody's there just for our safety, especially with this unknown respiratory, respiratory virus. And we haven't been in a while because of it and when it first came out. So what is this? Um, it's just an unknown respiratory virus. But what is this? Um, the consequences of not knowing, we have lost a lot of dogs. We could have potentially lost baby Iris who is still a baby and it really got her and it really affected her but we were lucky we got her in time we saw it and i immediately went to the vet as soon as i saw it, i got up and got dressed in like two minutes and went to the vet as fast as possible and they got us in immediately because they said look she's in rough shape she looks horrible so they got us in immediately despite the weight so it's like what is this what is going on how do we fix this how do we combat this uh, I'm not a vet. I'm not a veterinarian. I don't know anything about this, but I know to keep my dog safe. So keep your dog safe. Don't let your dogs around any unknown dogs. Don't let your dogs around any strays. Try to keep your dogs safe. Keep your dogs protected. You do not want to have your dog pass away like so many of us have. Um, we miss Boomer every day. And I still cannot believe what happened. He was fine. He was actually up and walking around and eating. And then suddenly he passed. So it's very, very unknown. And there's a lot of unknown explanations that we need. There's a lot of unknown reasoning. Everything is unknown right now. I've done my research. I still can't find much about it. I mean, and we, if the vets are talking about it, but I still can't find much about it. I can't find tr really good treatment courses. It's fluids, obviously, fluids. But it's like, what else do we do? What about us pet owners? What do we do to combat this? Well, we've stopped going, taking our dogs to the park. Um, we stopped taking our dogs for walks around town or uh, to the park. We have our fence. We let them out to go. To, we let them out in the fence and let them run for a little while. But it's still not enough. So what do we do? But I just wanted to kind of touch base on this because as a dog channel, as a dog YouTuber who who focuses a lot around dogs and has a lot of dogs on her own who breeds dachshunds, it's like Freya. It's like we just have all this un this, these unknowns. And I just want to touch talk about it because this is so important to me. We have lost a dog. We have almost lost another dog. And so many dogs have been lost. So what do we do? What are your takes on this? Have your dogs gotten sick? Leave a comment below and tell me your story. If you've almost had this happen, 
I would like to talk a lot about this because there's a lot of unknowns in this. Um, I stayed up all night taking care of this dog. I am the moment I left, the moment I stopped taking care of this dog, he passed because I had to take care of Iris and I had to take care of the bully puppies and take care of my own dogs. And I had to work in the morning. So what is this? Have, have you had this happen? Leave a comment. I really want to know everybody's stories about this and their takes on it. I mean, if you have any information, link me, send me messages about the information of what you know, or if you have any articles that I can read that I haven't read. But it's, so much is unknown right now, and I hope you have not had the same thing happen. But that's it for this video. That's all I have to say on it. Hopefully, I'll update this video when we have more information. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and as usual, you guys, I'll see you guys next time in the next video. See you guys later.